Hi, and welcome to Yoga with Bex. This is Yoga for Herniated Disc Pain Week 4 Back Strength. I'm Becca, and today I'm in the Dominican Republic. Spinal safety awareness. This practice does not have any forward flexion or twisting. Please see the description below before starting. Now grab your mat, and let's find your space. We're going to start today in a seated position. Please join me on the mat in whatever comfortable position is good for you. If you have trouble finding a comfortable position, please check below. I have a link. I have a little video with some modifications and different ideas to help you find a position that is comfortable for you. Okay. Now, wherever you are, please sit up tall. Extend up through the spine. Relax your shoulders. Take a few breaths and feel free to close your eyes to relax a little more. Come into the moment, come into your body. How do you feel today in this moment? Just focus on your breathing for a few breaths. I'm gonna keep our mind in our bodies, in the present moment for the duration of this practice. Feel the ground supporting you, nourishing air around you, and find that space in your body. If your eyes were closed, gently open them. This, most of this practice will be right down on the mat. We're working our back today. So let's come down onto our stomachs to start. You may want to uh, come down gently through the side, or you may want to come down, if you have a particular issue with your back, through tabletop, gently coming back and then coming down onto your stomach as so. So we're going to start with Sharpasana snake pose. Let's bring our foreheads onto the mat. Legs are together and straight out behind us. Bring the arms behind the back, interlace the fingers. We're going to stretch those arms back nice and strong. What we're going to do to come up is we're going to imagine that someone's pulling on our hands we're going to breathe in, we're going to be pulled up, neck is relaxed, looking forward, very nice, there's space between your hands and your body, breathing into your rib cage, let's hold for one, second breath, And third deep breath. And gently come down. Take a breath down here. And one more time, we're gonna come up. So keep those hands interlocked. Have them pull back strong through the legs, extension. Now breathe in. Imagine someone's pulling you up through your arms, pulling you back. Very nice, neck is relaxed. Breathing into the rib cage. Hold for one. And two. And three. And gently coming back down. Forehead onto the mat. Release the arms. I'm going to do cobra now. So bring the hands beside your shoulders, just underneath your shoulders. We're gonna come up to cobra. We're gonna do an easy cobra. We're not gonna push ourselves up from the hands. We're gonna rise up using our core and back strength. And then our hands are just here for support. So take a deep breath, engage that core. Come up, looking forward. Hold for three counts. Give yourself a little test, strong through the legs. Test your arms, lift them up. See if you're supporting your back through your 
You're supporting that, the pose through your back. And two. Breathing into the rib cage. And three. And gently coming down forehead to the mat. Take a breath, relax the arms. Okay, we're gonna do cobra one more time. Extended legs, strong through the legs. Engage that core, deep breath in, come up. Using your back strength, looking forward, breathing into the rib cage for one. For two. Lift your hands, check your balance. And three. And gently come down. Forehead to the mat, very nice. Let's take a minute in Makasana, make a little pillow with your hands. Bring your heels out to the side. Take a minute here to breathe. Now let's come into locust. We're gonna do full locust. Let's bring our foreheads to the mat. Legs together and straight, arms by your side, palms up. And you take a deep breath in as you lift up our chest, legs, and arms. Breathe out. And breathe in to rise up, looking forward. Come up, 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 up. Extend out the back of your legs. Extend out your spine. We'll hold for three, one, two, three, and gently come back down. We got one more time. Get ready, breathe in, come up, hold for one, and two. And three, hold, 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 extend, rise up, and gently come down. Very nice. Now we're gonna come up to seated. So let's um, tuck our toes under, kind of get those knees underneath us, press back up into tabletop. <clears throat> I'm gonna come to our knees for camel pose. So for camel pose, I like to keep knees hip width apart. You can bring them together for um, a different version, kind of the more traditional version. I like the knees uh, wide as the hips. Kind of gives you a little more space to the low back, I feel. So let's come up onto our knees. We're gonna start by bringing our hands onto our low back. Just kind of, kind of on the sacrum just low enough where it might be inappropriate for someone else to touch you. <laughs> okay. um, check your knees, check your legs are parallel behind you. Now we're gonna make, bring our shoulders wide, relax the top of the shoulders and the neck. The goal here is to press the hips forward and then extend back. Keep your chin forward for now, depending on how deep you can go into the pose. So this might be as far as you can go today, and that's totally fine. If you can come further, keep pressing those hips forward and bring your hands down onto your heels. Pressing forward, opening up the chest, and if you can come this far, relax your head back. We'll hold here for three counts. One, pressing those hips forward, two, opening up through the chest, and three, and then gently coming back up, nice and slow, all the way back up, protecting the neck. Very nice. And sit back onto your heels. Take a moment here to extend up through the spine. Take a deep breath. Normally, after a lot of back bends, you would do a 
forward fold, some kind of forward bend reflection just to give the back a little opposite movement. But since this practice is focused to people that have herniated discs, we don't want to do that. So we need to come into moments in neutral spine to give the back a little break for all the work it's doing. All right, let's finish off with fish pose. I'm gonna come forward to tabletop, shift my knees back to come down onto the ground again. And I'm gonna roll over onto my back. Okay. So for fish pose, we want our legs out, extended, nice and strong. Arms are right and close by our sides. Palms are pressing into the ground. And what we're gonna do, point the toes. What we're gonna do is we're gonna press into our elbows and our forearms and our hands. And we're gonna arch the back and we're gonna come up, 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 arch, arch, arch into our top of the head is on the ground. So let's press into those arms, breathe in. Arching up, 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 up. And then finding that top of the head to rest on. Keep those shoulders relaxed, wide, neck is relaxed. Opening up through the heart here, deep breaths. Let's hold for one. Keep the pressure in the elbows. And two. And three. And then pressing into those elbows, lift yourself up to release the neck and come back down. Beautiful. Okay. Let's finish off with this Shavasana today. We've done a lot of good work in the back. If you need a modification for Shavasana, please check. I have another video. There's a link below. Modification specifically for sciatica. If you are able to come into regular Shavasana, you can follow me. Otherwise, I'll meet you in Shavasana. So bring your feet wide, relax the legs, arms out by your sides, palms facing up. Find a comfortable position where you can just relax. So we're gonna take a few minutes to breathe into each body part. Relaxing each body part. Take a deep breath into your feet. And your feet are relaxed. Take a deep breath into your knees. And your knees are relaxed. Breathe into your hips. And your hips are relaxed. Breathe into your hands. And your hands are relaxed. Breathe into your elbows. And your elbows are relaxed. Breathe into your shoulders. And your shoulders are relaxed. Breathe into your chest. And your chest is relaxed. Breathe into your back. And your back is relaxed. Breathe into your neck. And your neck is relaxed. Make sure your forehead is relaxed, your jaw. Imagine your whole body is melting into the ground and the ground is rising up to support you, lifting you up to the clouds. If any thoughts pop into your head and try to distract you, just acknowledge them and imagine them floating up, up and away as you melt into the ground. 
And take a few breaths here to relax. Focus on your body and how you feel. Keeping the mind in the present moment. Okay, now start to wake up your body. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Bring a little movement into your arms and legs. Keep your eyes closed if you can. Take a deep breath. Roll over onto one side. And let's gently press ourselves up. Finding that comfortable seated position that's best for you. Now if you could join me in chanting OM three times, take a deep breath in. Gently open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me today. Take a moment to thank yourself for joining me on the mat today and taking care of your back. Take a moment to thank your body for supporting you today and through injury and in health. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Have a beautiful day.